What's going on guys? Geosnowrite here, so in today's video I want to keep you updated on whatever happened with the Pango jailbreak, what we know for the moment, what is new, on which version you should stay in order to be safe, because iOS 10.3.2 is going to be released probably next week, and also I'm going to try to compile the new information we have, because this week we've got a lot of new things, but I had to create uh, separate videos as the newer things were actually unfolded you know, in separate days. And so I'm going to compile everything into this video for those of you who do not actually uh, know what happened, who did not actually see the uh, other videos, and therefore you shouldn't be required to watch all the videos. You're going to watch this one and understand what is happening. Let me get straight into that. At first, I'm going to start with whatever happened with the, you know, Apple uh, buying the iOS 10.3.1 Pangu jailbreak. There, there was a rumor on this website, super, super fan, uh, .co. And uh, that rumor was, of course, that Pangu has actually sold their jailbreak. Now, I, I talked about that in this particular video. Any video is going to be in the description down below if you want to get more in-depth into the topic. But I'm going to uh, simply get into that right now. So, there was a rumor that Pangu actually sold their jailbreak for $1 million. Well, $1,200,000. And um, that rumor was finally and happily confirmed fake. Now, look at the desk also confirm this one fake because he said the amount of money is actually too big for uh, Apple to pay. And uh, this is exactly what I said in that video as well. If you want to watch the video in which I talked about the fact that it was confirmed false, it's actually in here if you missed it. Now, speaking about the uh, best iOS version on which you can stay, I'm going to um, actually recommend you to stay on the lowest firmware possible. Why? Well, going ahead and here on the iPhone wiki where you can download the uh, IPAs uh, sorry, the IPSWs for um, each individual iOS version, you can see that iOS 10.3.2 is in beta 5. The beta 5 was released on uh, the 27th of April, which means that we're going to uh, to get the uh, the next build very, very soon for the iOS 10.3.2. Now, unfortunately, Pangu Jailbreak, as we know it from the uh, demonstration they had on uh, Jen's conference, is only working on iOS 10.3 or 10.3.1, not 10.3.2, because 10.3.2 at that time, I think was in beta 3 or beta 4, which they probably didn't work on. So, definitely when iOS 10.3.2 comes, do not update to 10.3.2. If you're going to go to 10.3.1, uh, you should definitely do that only if there are important announcements made either by my channel or other bigger YouTubers that you I don't know, trust, but do not update just thinking that, you know, it's going to happen because the rumor that, you know, Pangu is going to release a jailbreak this week has been actually, you know, confirmed fake because of this account in here. This was the account on Twitter that actually said, you know, Pangu is going to release a jailbreak and uh, you can see on, uh, on the screenshot in here, he was the one who started everything. This was uh, this post was actually created by him uh, in the very first day when when the Pangu uh, images, the Pangu jailbreak pictures, were posted on Weibo, and he said in Chinese in here, which is translated, that Pangu is working on the jailbreak and is going to be released within a week. Well, that was the the past week, which means that he was actually talking about this week that is actually finally over, and therefore there was no jailbreak. So. Uh, after that, the QWERTY 8060320 from here has changed his uh, picture, has changed his name, has removed all his tweaks, uh, sorry, tweets, and uh, only tweeted this thing in here, a, which is a website and so on. We discussed about that in the video in which we confirmed the fact that, uh, that uh, the myth was actually fake. And... Uh, Definitely we shouldn't believe this guy, he just trolled the community. Pango didn't say anything about the release. And definitely speaking about the uh, the best firmware you should be on, I recommend you to stay on the lowest firmware possible. If you're on iOS 10.2 and 10.1.1 or any other Yalu supported firmware, then you should definitely not update yet. Uh, I know a lot of people who simply updated their device, believing that Pango is going to release that jailbreak pretty fast, and they simply lost their, um, their Yalu jailbreak hoping they're going to use Pangu but Pangu never come, never came so this is the problem do not update until you get any news that a real 
Pangu Jailbreak is going to be released. And the easiest way to get updates on that is to go to Pangu's website. Now this is the only Pangu website we know. I talked about this in my other videos, but I'm going to reiterate this because it's very important. There were a lot of fakes lately and you know Pangu.com, Pangu8.com, Pangu9.com, Pangu10.com, uh, DownloadPangu.com and so on. Those are all third-party websites. The only website Pangu has is this one in here, which is English.Pangu.io or of course Pangu.io if you want the Chinese version. And here, of course, when they release a tool, they're going to put it in here. There were a couple of rumors about, uh, you know, an IPA, a jailbreak IPA, you know, with the jailbreak from Janus, that was apparently leaked. And I talked about that on the channel, in one of my videos on the channel. It was definitely fake and might contain malware. So definitely avoid that. As long as it's not present here on their website, it's definitely not released. Also, in order to track whether a jailbreak is up or not, you can go ahead on this tool in here that I created. Not a lot of you know about it, but I created this tool, which is called Can I Jailbreak? And um, the jailbreak uh, status is actually listed in this table in here. You can see the, la uh, the last jailbreak was for 10.2, and it was the yellow jailbreak in here. And uh, for 10.2.1, 10.3, and 10.3.1, there is definitely nothing and 10.3.2 is in beta. So you can easily track this down. The tool is actually updated pretty easy when a jailbreak comes out and uh, definitely you should check this out, bookmark or do whatever you want. Well, speaking about the Pango jailbreak, we do know that it might be uh, tethered if it gets released. But according to the uh, Chinese forums and the Chinese uh, people talking on the forums, those who do have a lot of um, insight on the Pangu situation, they say that Pangu might be releasing after iOS 10.3.2 gets released by Apple. Well, that makes sense, but that's still not enough to hype you out and to put you in the situation of updating to 10.3.1. I do not recommend updating to 10.3.1. Um, of course, you can update if you're on 10.3. If you're on 10.3, you can definitely update. But if you're on 10.2.1 or 10.2, you should definitely not update yet. Because the lower you stay, the better it is for you. And uh, why it makes sense? Well, when Apple is still working on a beta, for example, as they do right now on the iOS 10.3.2 beta, they can easily patch Pangu's jailbreak in iOS 10.3.2 when it comes out the next week if Pangu releases right now the jailbreak. But if Pangu waits for iOS 10.3.2 to get um, released by Apple, then Apple is going to need to create a new beta for iOS 10.3.3 in order to patch Pangu's jailbreak, which gives you, the jailbreaker, a lot of time to work with and a lot of time to switch between updates and to jailbreak your device before it gets patched by Apple. So yes, it definitely makes sense, but it's not a confirmed rumor. So definitely not update. This is what we know about Pango for the moment. So to recap, do not download any fake IPAs claiming to be, you know, uh, IPAs that were leaked. Now, the rumor saying that the Pango jailbreak was sold to Apple for $1 million is definitely confirmed fake, not only by me, but by Luca Tedesco and by um, Zeng Spark guy on, the, um, on Twitter. The one who, of course, posted the, uh, the first picture is from Pango's uh, Janus conference. Then what you need to do is not to update to 10.3.2, obviously, and do not update from your current version. If you're jailbroken, you should not update, but if you're not jailbroken and you're on 10.2.1, 10.3, you should not update either to 10.3.1 yet. I'm going to, of course, make a video very quickly when Pangu drops something if they do that, and uh, then you, you're going to know how to, how to update and whether you should update to which version. But till that moment, do not update. Save your iOS 10.3.1 blobs. It's very important. Teamstar has confirmed this week that the uh, Prometheus method is still working. It, it has to be fixed on some basement related issues, but it's still working. So definitely you should save your blobs. This is what we know for the moment. I really hope you enjoyed this recap video and I really hope I managed to stretch every information we had new this week into one single video so that you do not have to watch three or four or six entire videos just to get the uh, inside of it. Till the next time guys, I'm Geosnow, stay safe and peace out.